All right, y'all, Mikey T, the movie star, Speed Dollars. This is King of Delaware podcast, episode two. Dollars, let's get this thing uh, started off right, man. This uh, week you posted on social media. You wanted to get a very serious message across. Could you just go ahead and get that off your chest right now? Um, Yeah, but 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 first of all, I want everybody to um, check a book out that I've been... Um, that I've been reading. It's a it's a great book that I want everybody to check out. It's called The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. It teaches you about like self happiness and within the self, how to be happy within yourself. Because uh, I I notice a lot of people. I notice that hate is like a uh, hate hate is hate is something within. I'm starting to when I learn and I read about things. Hate is what's inside you, but uh, a person that hate, they don't, that's their way of showing love. Like even with entertainment and, um, any, anything, anything, an actor, whatever you're trying to progress in life. Uh, when you see somebody hating on something that somebody's doing something positive, that's like a, a, a way of saying they like what you're doing, but in another way, because if, Anybody that's, if you rapping or uh, uh, you going to college to be uh, a professor, a professor or a doctor or a lawyer, obviously you're trying to better your family. And for a person to make a comment like, uh, they don't, I mean, I don't really like what he's doing or this and that. I mean, I mean, a person is, he's trying to better his life, but, um. That's pretty much what I want everybody. I want everybody to check out the four agreements, and then y'all get that done. And then we, we, I, I show y'all another book y'all should check out. You know what I mean? On the next segment. And now that we've addressed that, I want you to take me into, I want you to take me into your early days, Speed Dollars. I want you to take me into when you first got into the rap game. Where did it all begin? Um, it began. I'm from Wilmington, Delaware, over the north side. Yeah, you know I mean, um, it all about it all began outside, like um, outside in the streets. Yeah, you know I mean, I mean, it's a lot of talent in Delaware, a lot, a lot of talent. Um, you know, from corner to corner, you know, me and my boy Cino going from different sides of the town, battling people because you might got somebody even going from north. Um, you might got somebody from 30th Street or 27th Street or or Concord Ave or or down bottom, and you probably get, and you got to go in that area and and battle that person in their hood. Yeah, you know I mean, and and then go on another side of town, and yeah, you know I mean, and back then it was like it wasn't like you know you got smack URL and all that right now. Um, it wasn't like uh, it was it was different. It wasn't. You get three, you get three and four weeks to study your opponent. It was like right on the spot, and you just go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. It's like basically, man, whoever run out lost, and whoever keep going, you you won. Yeah, you know I mean, you I mean, you, the object of the game was to not run out of bars. Once you run out of bars, it ain't nothing you could do. I mean, that's pretty much. And then it evolved to school. Um, and once they got to school, man, it was, it was a little different, man. It was fun. Like, uh, we were rap in the hallway. Cause I'm from, like, I, like I said, I'm from North. I went to school with people from West, East, South, like all over the city. You know what I mean? Um, you'll see a guy in the hallway at school and y'all get the bad one in the hallway on a little break before class. You know what I mean? Um, that, that, that's how every break, every break you, you catch somebody in the hallway, you battle them. And then on, in cafeteria at lunch, you can get in battles in the cafeteria at lunch. We had my boy Richard Matthews. He used to uh, he used to beat on the tables and shit. Um, he used to beat on the tables, and we used to cipher. Yeah, you know I mean, we all used to uh, we all used to um, you know, go around ciphering. Everybody used to cipher and, and rap, and the whole cafeteria would be going crazy because it just be we we was the energy. Yeah, you know I mean. So yeah, that's that's pretty much where it stemmed from. Wow, man, you took us all the way back on that one. And you know, in episode one, you had actually said Jada Kiss was one of your early inspirations in rap. What? Well, when did you decide uh, that this was going to be the career for you? 
Absolutely, Jade Kiss was my favorite rapper. Back in the day, it was fun, man. When we was in high school and when we was going around battling people all over, it was just fun. It was just fun because uh, I think you had to be, you have to do something and be happy with it before you could pursue it. You know what I mean? And, um, and plus, back in the day, we didn't really have the tools that everybody else had. Like, even though we so close to Philly and New York, we didn't have We Run the Streets or um, Cosmic Kev or we didn't have a, a at that time, a Gilly the Kid that, that with the uh, relationships to take us to a radio station and here and there get us to where we needed. So I was like, we didn't have that. So, I mean, we did it amongst ourselves. You know what I mean? Um, Shout out to old Skino back in the day. He came out. He came. He came. He came to the city and did a DVD, and and got a lot of people on it and show love. You know what I mean, but that was pretty much it. But we just didn't have them relationships that everybody else had to to succeed. Because if I had a Gilly back in the day, like fifteen years ago, or any of them guys, I would have been on already. It would have been over. You know what I mean? So let's break something down for the people. Let's explain to everyone on Report Card Radio how you determined your name to be Speed Dollars. Oh, man, Speed Dollars. I had the name Speed Dollars for 20 years. Because I, I want to clarify something. It, it's Because everybody, every time, I, when sometimes when I come out with music, I see that a lot of people say he stole his name from from Speed Dollar, it's a, who was a battle rapper in Newark, New Jersey. His name is Speed. S P E E D O L L A, Speed Dollar. Um, I'm pretty sure my name has been Speed Dollars longer than his. I'm I'm probably older than him, so I I, I want to get that straight with the fans because y'all a lot of people say I took Speed Dollar name. But my name is Speed Dollars way before his name. You gotta check this. this you check your facts, man. So uh, I just. No, uh, nothing to, um, Speed Dollar. Shout out to Speed Dollar because he's doing his thing. But I just wanted to clarify that this, this has been my name well over two decades. And, um, yeah, well over two decades. And, and, and while we on that, it's crazy because, um, how I got the name Speed Dollars, um, was in high school. Uh, once again, I got the, I would say my boy, uh, my boy, um, Keon Costin. And my boy Bub, Rico, you know what I mean? They uh, they the two that gave me the name Speed Dollars, cause I was already the fastest man in the high school, you know what I mean? So they called me Speedy. And then, you know, we all, you know, we gambled in the uh, we gambled at lunch sometimes too. We played cards, me, Runner, Booty, Think, you know what I mean? Everybody, we all um, Bay Bay, we all play uh, we all played cards and stuff and. You know, I was just, I always had money. So niggas was calling me, but I know Bob and King, uh, Bob and Keon started calling me Speed Dollars. You know what I mean? Because, you know, I played with the money and I always, I was a young boy that always had money. Niggas was like, damn, where are you getting money from? Always had money. And I was the fastest. I, I ran track in high school. I was the fastest in my high school. You know what I mean? So, uh. And they just start calling me Speed Dollars, and and I ran with it, and that was around. That was uh, yeah, that's how I got the name Speed Dollars. That's what's up, man. I'm glad you could actually clear that up here on the King of Delaware podcast. So you've been doing a steady stream of promo right now, leading into the King of Delaware album. This past week, you actually dropped the stillmatic visual on World Star. How else mm-hmm. are you preparing for the album? Um, and that's actually just throwaway. Sh- that 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 ain't going on the album because that's that's that Nas that was that Nas stillmatic intro. My um, this the uh, King of Delaware album going to be all original. That's just out there for the fans, just to keep them. You know what I mean? Just to keep them going until they get the album on December thirteenth. Um, I'm just I'm doing I'm doing I'm in the studio doing a lot of recording, um, shoot videos, um doing multiple uh press press runs um we can't really go nowhere so i'm doing a lot of skyping and and um i guess youtube interviews and 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 all that and that's pretty much you know what i mean and still while we um on my journey to um 
to get my album done. I'm doing a lot of reading and I'm doing a lot of studying and I'm learning, learning, learning new things so I can um, strengthen my craft. I'm, I'm learning as well because I want to be able to teach. I want to be able to teach people something on this project, something that they can just um, not listen to and feel like they ain't get nothing from it. I want them to, after they listen to it, I want them to say, say uh, you know, take something on their journey and their life to say that I learned something from this brother today. You know what I mean? Actually listen to this project. Not just, you know what I mean? All the, everything else that everybody talking about. So I want to teach some things. So Dallas, what was it that actually made you choose the Nas instrumental? Uh... My boy Paper Chaser, man, he 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 put a lot of my music on his um channel. Um, oh, that's right. Salute the Paper Chaser for sure. Shout out the Paper Chaser, and he uh, it's a it's a um, yeah, he um, he said that it was two beats that he liked when I talked to him. He was like the Stillmatic, and it was a Lil Wayne um, I can't remember that Lil Wayne beat, but he said those is the two beats that he would like to hear me kill. You know what I mean? And I said, man, I'm going to do that Stillmatic. And I did that joint the next day. I sent it to him, and he was like, this joint is crazy. So, I mean, I really wasn't going to do it. It was That was one of his, that was a favor for him. So, you know what I mean? Then everybody liked it. You know what I mean? So I ran with it. That's what's up, man. And another joint you did, you actually did a remix to Back to Back. So on your remix to Back to Back, you rapped, I can get it hard, I can get it soft. I'm on the paper route. I might sign with Young Dolph. Mm -hmm. I'm the king of my city. Already told y'all. If they don't let me in the game, I'm a Bogart. Yeah. Um. As as an artist, if you're not like a big artist, like a Yo Gotti or uh a, a, another big artist, a Young Jeezy. I mean, because they have their own platforms to to do their own thing. They don't have to be on Def Jam or whatever labels they on. Like, um, an independent artist trying to get off his feet, you don't have the back end. So it depends on your situation. You could sign with it. It, it. it makes sense to sign with a label or another artist that has something to offer, but it has to make sense. Like, um, me, I would I would sign with a label and I would sign with young I would sign with Young Dolph. Yeah, you know I mean that's actually one of my favorite I, he's a great businessman. I, I I like Young Dolph. I like that uh I like the way he gets behind his artists like Key Glock. I like the way he in their videos. I like the way he do album he did the album Dumb and Dumber with Key Glock. I like I just like you could tell he invests his time and his artists, even though he's probably a busy man. I could tell he he um he's enhancing his artists. So I would definitely I would love to sign with somebody like Young Dolph. Yeah you know I mean. So it wouldn't necessarily bother you signing with an artist over a record label. If it made sense. No, I feel you. I totally feel you on that, man. And uh yeah, shout out to Paper Route. Dolph is obviously on his independent grind. And you know, one of the biggest spectacles in hip hop right now is actually Six Nine coming home. How do you mm. feel about the whole situation, man? Um, I think Six Nine he just he taking advantage of his situation. He trolling. He trying to capitalize off of uh, everything. He like the energy right now because everybody talking about him. That's what I'm saying. If if that that when I was talking about energy earlier and 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 hate. And it actually, it, it, it turns into, it leads to love. Everybody saying that, um, every, everybody talking about he a troll, why everybody supporting him, everybody commenting. I mean, he wouldn't have got this if I, I went through on this page and I seen rat, snitch, rat, 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 rat. If y'all ain't give him that energy, he took advantage of your energy which I was talking about energy earlier. He wouldn't have been able to do that. Imagine nobody saying rat or snitch or nobody not even paying attention to the video. He would. What would he have been able to do then? He wouldn't have been able to do nothing. But y'all fed in, the, the people fed into it. I'm going to say the people did it. 
everybody i was calling them rat snitch i'm pretty sure y'all check this video video out y'all watch this live stream and yeah i mean so it's the it's the people that did it i, I blame the people you know what i mean we knew what this man was gonna come home and do but it was the people imagine him just coming home and doing that and nobody being on his live nobody watching the video you know what i mean well, you know, Dallas, one of the generals from your neck of the woods, Meek Mill, has openly opposed him. How do you feel about Meek taking that stance? Um, shout out to Meek. Meek just had a baby, man. I don't even think that that's a waste of your time. Meek, he ain't even really, he ain't even really on your level of like, man, he's a child, man. Like, I, I feel like he gonna do what he gonna do regardless. He got a hard head. You know what I mean? Like I said, um, I think eventually it's going to all blow over. You know what I mean? But, uh, I mean, you know, Meek going to do what he's going to do because lately he's been, he been standing up for what he think is right. It's absolutely nothing wrong about that. But I think that's taking energy off of something else that he could be doing. Yeah, I'm sure we'll see it play out in the coming weeks and possibly we could address it on another King of Delaware episode. But it actually might be good. It could have been a marketing thing for me because, um, I see on that Piffy got that new Dream Chasers 4.5 grade come out soon. So it might be it might be a chess move. You know what I mean? It mm. could be a chess move. Draw some attention to Meek's side. Because he's been dry a little lately. He ain't really dropped nothing. So that 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 could help him out a little bit. Hear what he got to say on the Dream Chaser 4.5. I'm pretty sure he might drop a track and he might not necessarily diss 6 9 but drop a reference. Like, I mean, it'd probably be some type of reference on the album. So, you know what I mean, y'all just got to tune in. But I, I, that's marketing to me. You know what I mean, more so than anything. Okay, Dream Chasers 4.5, you say? Absolutely. So, Speed Dollars, I want to end this thing on a high note. So, last week on the first episode, we took a look at the top five hip-hop artists. But today, I want to take a look at the top five female hip-hop artists. Yeah, we could do that. How do you want to break that one down, man? Oh, man. It's just so many. And I know the people going to uh, criticize me for who I miss. But this just my list. No order. Um, I'm going with MC Light. I'm going with uh, Foxy. I'm going with Lil' Kim. I'm going with Lauren Hill. And I'm going with Nicki Minaj. Not taking nothing else from nobody else, but that's just my five. You know what I mean? I like Missy Elliott. I like, you know, I like The Brat. I like Queen Latifah. I like Cardi B. All that. You know what I mean? Kaz died, but you can't name everybody. So I gave you my, my top five. Dead or alive. So Dollars. Looking at it, your list from MC Light to Nicki Minaj, how do you feel like the uh, the female hip hop scene has progressed from an MC Light to a Nicki Minaj? Mm, I feel like somebody like an MC Light paved the way for somebody like a Nicki Minaj because it has evolved. Um, they're making way more money now. It's just it's so many things you could do. Like it's like she was one of the one of the um. You know, she silked the, the, she opened the gate, you know what I mean? Was one of them, you know what I mean? So it's like, it, I feel like it evolved. Nicki Minaj took it to a, a, a higher level, you know what I mean? And, and, and now it's more chances for more women, you know what I mean? More, more, we'll, we'll start seeing more women. I'm starting to see a lot of more women come in the game and be an artist and be interested in this music and work on their craft. And I like it. We need more women into this. You know what I mean? That's what's up, man. You know, I just wanted to I wanted to show the women some love here on the King of Delaware podcast, man. Is uh, Absolutely. Is there anything you um, want to leave the people with before we get out of here today? If 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 I if I worked with any female artists, um I would I would show love to Philly, man. I right now I like what Lee Mason doing. I would work with Lee Mason from Philly. That's one of my uh 
right now. That's one of my favorite independent artists that ain't really getting the big ups that she need or she ain't really on the level that she need. I love Lee Mays and she made great music. You know what I mean, I, I, that's one of my favorites. Right now, if I had to work with somebody, I would work with Lee Mason. She's sick, you know what I mean? Um, and other than that, I want to shout out I want to shout out my brother uh, Casino, and I want to shout out my brother Eric, cause they've been helping me on my journey. You know what I mean? On my on my on my journey uh, to success, they've been they've been backing everything I've been doing. Like they've been helping me with everything. They've been pushing me. They've been on me a hundred percent when I want when I want to leave this shit alone, or when I'm feeling down, or yeah, you know I mean, cause I'm human. You know what I mean? So I go through shit like everybody else. I just wanted to get them two brothers a shout, you know what I mean, and a pat on the back because they always there when I'm going through something and I need them. You know what I mean? Mikey T, before we get out of here, I, I really wanted to bring this to everybody's attention. Um, Public service announcement, man. Because I know you brought this up to me, Mikey T. You asked me why privately. Um, what was that about when I said, you know, um, I love my black brothers and and the, the you know all my black brothers. It's basically I said that because just with everybody, with everybody, with everything that's going on, it's like we don't give people their flowers while they're here. We wait till they're going to give them their flowers, and I want to start giving my brothers and my black men their flowers. Not just that, all men their flowers while they're still here. Everybody, but you know what I mean. Um, it's just I didn't like. Uh, it just had me real tight what happened in Georgia, what they did to that 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 brother, man, Ahmad. Them two them two men, how they how how, how they did him like that, man. That 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 hurt, man. That was wrong. And I feel like they gotta pay for that. 